doing it. So, yeah, I got the Facebook Live set up now, I think. And uh, I'm going to give a little job to camera. And do it right here playing uh, X, 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 Tentacion or something. You every single time. Yeah, because that's all you listen to. No, it's not. X, you can't even say this rapper's name. X, 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 Tentacion. What is it? X, X, X. X, X, X. That's what y'all listen to. I know I sound like the old man in the club a lot on this show, but y'all don't even know hip hop, man. Y'all don't even know hip hop. I don't? No. No. I I haven't experienced real hip hop. You never got to hear Big Daddy Kane and and, and Eric B and Rock Hill. I was watching 90s Yo. music yesterday, though. Old school. I was. Y'all is something that came out last two weeks ago. Yeah. Right. I was been watch, I was been watching all right, 90s music. We're Facebook and live, and, and there's Lil Jeff right there. And look, don't you're not a, you're not one of America's most wanted, but there he is, and he's listening to this this rapper. Say his name again. Say it loud enough so we get X X X X X X Tentacion. That's hard to say. No, he he like Buster Rhymes. Z M X. His son was born three days. Run D M C. Easy X-X-X. names to say. Anyway, uh, we're live here at the Little Greenhouse Grill in Overtown. We just talked with Chef Korean Brian. Uh, they're celebrating two years of business, man, right here at the Little Greenhouse Grill in Overtown. Two years in business, and um, you know we're, we're saluting them, man, because they're bringing that life back to Overtown, uh, a historical part of Miami, historical Overtown, and they deserve props. They deserve love for that. Uh, Nicole, can we grab you? It's her birthday, y'all. Give us some love. Yay. Yeah. 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 Well, well. <laughs> you gotta sit right here close to okay. me. Okay. So. Yes. So, yeah. Th- there oh. she is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're live. <laughs> We're live. We're live. Hi, everybody. Isn't she beautiful? She's so crazy. <laughs> and, and we also have half the country. Well, not half the country. I like to, I like to exaggerate. Look, the president can lie. I can lie. All okay. right? <laughs> I got half, half the, the country. I got half the country that are here, uh, all in the chat room listening. Ooh, Shelly B. Yeah. And uh, Tiffany's all the way in Portland. All right, Tiffany. Yeah, she's uh, there. Kevin Gray's in, Ke- in okay. Dallas, Texas. I see. Yeah, they're, they're all over the place, man. So... Listen, let's talk about this soul food. This this neo this good thing you guys have going on here at the little greenhouse grill, man. Uh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Two years, happy anniversary. What's it been like? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is the greatest reward, I think, um, besides having my son of my life. Uh, I think um, you know, you work so hard, you get a job, you know, you, you graduate college or do whatever and you get a job and then you work for someone else so hard and you puff and you grind and grind and, and then when you do it for yourself, it's just this really yours. Very, it's very different. So if you're yeah. exhausted, you're exhausted for a very good reason. Um, every day, you know, it's a, it's a fight, um, of course, to, to maintain an image as a small business and be successful. Mm-hmm. And when I say be successful, I mean being able to hire, you know what I mean? Right, being right. able to keep up to be consistent in products and be consistent in service and that's I think what we've been able to do because our customers have been so wonderful to us um, that is our staying power that is our surviving power and I, I I give all the credit and the glory to God but I definitely thank him for my wonderful customers yes how, the people have come they have supported they have. you had you know it, it, nothing is easy you know, yeah. <laughs> and you had to fight and, yes. and fight and to still keep this fighting. thing going. Still fighting. You know, <laughs> and we need you guys. You guys are on social media. You guys are on Facebook. Uh, you guys are around the country. You know, people are coming to Miami for Jazz in the Gardens. They're coming for the Super Bowl absolutely, this year. Absolutely, Super Bowl this year in Miami. That's absolutely. right. Uh, you gotta, you gotta come to Overtown, and that's what they used to do. Absolutely. They used to come to Overtown, and now because of you, the little greenhouse grill. The great food, yeah, they're coming back. Well, you know, I think we just added to what was already progressing in the area. You know, there are some wonderful businesses here that are even have yet to be discovered. And to be um, uh, in company with them is definitely not an honor and a privilege for us. Mm-hmm. Um, we do not take that lightly or for granted. So please, when you experience Overtown, um, find out about all the wonderful restaurants and businesses and eateries and services that have come back to this area to make it a wonderful community. What's a favorite here? At the rest, oh, the yeah. shrimp and grits. 
Nope. That's my comfort food, the shrimp and grits. Shrimp and grits. Mm-hmm. That's my comfort food. Is that like breakfast or that's like dinner meal or whatever? That's whatever I wanted to do. Whatever you want all day. All day. Shrimp. That is the sexiest dish. It's that, made with the white wine scampi sauce. Uh, that sounds like it grits. tastes good. Grits are just delicious. Right. You know, it's right. like bacon. You know, if, you might not eat bacon, but if anybody says bacon is not <laughs> good, they lie. Yeah, they bacon. lie. Bacon is delicious. May not be good for you, but it's good. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this, so this is like, you know, when you come here, it's like you want to eat some of my mama biscuits. Right? And, yeah. And, you know, yeah. it's like it's like soul food. You remember? But between the music and then the conversation, you might be having a conversation with somebody across the room, and right. somebody might walk in the door that you haven't seen in a while. I mean, we are so grateful for that type of energy and that type of environment here. So it's going to be a good good night. It's going to be a good year. Macaroni and cheese. Man, made by hand every day. What? By hand every day. Oh, <laughs> oh look what we got. Hey, it's a birthday. Oh, come here, Carter. My Happy birthday, birthday to oh, you. Yeah. Happy <laughs> birthday, Derek. <laughs> oh, Happy yeah. birthday to you. Yeah, help mommy blow it out. Hey. Yeah. Live, we did that live here on the Jeff Fox yeah. Show on Facebook. Look at you. You're on Facebook. Say hi, yeah, Facebook. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> That is what's up. That is delicious <laughs> Thank you looking. So much. Wow. Thank you. Wanna go eat some cake That's a great dessert. Mommy. So they got great food here, man. Uh, you guys, when you come to Miami, and yes, today is not only Valentine's Day, mm-hmm. it's, it's Nicole's birthday. I gotta give you a kiss. Um, 45. 45. Yes, 45 sir. years young. Just like, just like Trump. <laughs> you know, it's a real 45. Hey, man. <laughs> All right, man. All right, so thank we, you, thank, Jeff. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for having us here at the Little Greenhouse Grill in Historical uh, Overtown. Two years in business. Yay. Nicole's birthday. Man, all kinds of good stuff to celebrate here on the show. Uh, what up to Avery? What up, Jay Berg? Jay Berg. So before we check out, because we, we only got a few minutes left in the show, I was giving everybody my all-time, and I'm going to put it in the chat room right now. My all-time NBA starting five. So this is All-Star Weekend. Right? And at center, and I'm going to introduce them like they're coming out of, you know, starting lineup. At center on the all-time, I'm going to do the fake uh, arena voice guy thing too. At center for the all-time NBA starting team, all-star team, at center from LSU, Shaquille O'Neal. That's my starting center. <laughs> That's arena guy voice. That's the arena guy voice. So Shaq is the starting center. Um, where did I mess this up? Okay, here we go. Shaq is the starting center. And a lot of you will not agree with this list. That's just how it is. This is how it is. Shaq is a starting center. I don't think there's been a, a, a big guy that's dominated the NBA like Shaquille O'Neal. Nobody. And yeah, uh, he got schooled by Hakeem the Dream in the NBA Finals. That did happen. That did happen. Uh, good afternoon, Eric Rowe. No, I did not make an announcement. I was going live. I just kind of just threw it on there. But Shaq is your starting center. Your backcourt. Sorry, Steph Curry fans. No Steph Curry in my starting backcourt. He's the greatest shooter of all time. I get that. But your starting point guard on the all-time greatest NBA team has to be Irvin Magic Johnson from Michigan State. Oh, my goodness. I got it. Great. Yeah. What? I got it. Jeff Fox Jr. I should put you on camera. Yeah, that's what I said. It. I Who's your starting point guard? You're right. He can't even come up with one. No, Ky- I don't know if I say it. Like, yeah. be like, no. No, you're going to say Kyrie or, or Steph Curry or one of them new kids. Sorry, bro. Magic was 6'9 with handles. Had the sky ben hook. Ben Simmons, 6'10. Could ben Simmons? Ben, yeah. <laughs> ben Simmons? Uh, so, his high, so Magic Johnson, how you going to mean it? This boy in here... This boy here talking about Ben Simmons, y'all. No, no. Man, Good afternoon to Phil. I'm sorry. For Hot 105. Hot 105, man, is giving away those Jazz in the Gardens tickets. I'm giving away Jazz in the Gardens tickets as well. 
but not this week. We'll be doing that next week here. So, so Magic is your starting point guard. Shaq is your starting center. And you all know, everybody in the world knows who's the shooting guard. It's Michael Jordan. I mean, that's not even up for debate. It's got to be Michael Jordan. And I'm talking about an all-time NBA starting five that you think would be probably the greatest team ever in history. So, I, I got nobody from the 70s on this team. Sorry. Nobody from the 60s. Nobody. No Will Chamberlain, no Bill Russell, uh, no Jerry West. I'm 80s and 90s as far as this greatest team. Uh, I do think, yeah, 80s and 90s. LeBron's not even on this team, and that don't make sense to me. But you can only name five on a starting five. Everybody else got to come off the bench. So Shaq is in center. Magic's your point guard. Michael is your two guard. And my forward is going to be none other than Julius Irving. Dr. J himself. A lot of you will disagree. Some people will say Larry Bird. Some will say LeBron James. Some will say, uh, and, and I love LeBron, but no. Dr. J, man, if you never saw Dr. J, this dude used to put his arm, all of this, above the rim. Dr. J is your small folk. Julius Serving, the greatest. Before Michael, before Dominique, before LeBron, before Kobe, it was Dr. J. All-time greatest. And somebody mentioned the great Bernard King. I don't even think Bernard King. No, maybe he, he come off the bench, maybe. Maybe. But Dr. J is your uh, small forward. So that what the problem I've had on this all-time team is power forward. Who would you have as the starting power forward? We settled Chef Kareem and I settled on Tim Duncan because I was having a tough time coming up with a power forward. My finalists for power forward were the mailman, Carl Malone, uh, Tim Duncan, and Charles Barkley. And damn, I had a hard time picking one of them. I had a hard time picking one, man. Tim Duncan, Mr. Fundamental, could do it all. You know, schooled my Lakers, beat them in the playoffs when we were at our best. When we had Shaq and we had Kobe, we got schooled in the finals by uh, Tim Duncan. Not in the finals, the West Finals, of course. West Company. They beat us. You remember the time when Kobe and Derek Fisher started crying on the bench? Don't laugh. That ain't funny. When, shut up. Cut, cut, cut his mic off. When Kobe and uh, Derek Fisher was on the bench crying with snot coming out of their nose and stuff. That hurt, man. But Tim Duncan did that to us. And, and the Lakers were at their all-time best, so... I settled on Tim Duncan and Power Force, so my all-time starting five is Shaq, uh, Michael Jordan, Dr. J at forward, uh, Tim at the other forward, Tim Duncan, and uh, who's missing? Oh, Magic at the point guard, Magic Johnson at the point guard. So you got Shaq at center, Dr. J and Tim Duncan are your forwards. Magic and Michael in the backcourt. You can't do better than that, right? You can't do better than that. Magic at the point. Michael at the, sh- at the two. Dr. J at the three. Duncan at the four. Shaq at the five. That's it. Greatest starting five in NBA history. Greatest starting five in NBA history. Um, and, uh, good afternoon to Marcus Harper. Sports talk with so. How you doing, sir? Mr. Harper says <laughs> he's got Magic and Mike. Okay, that's the backcourt. He's got Bird. He's got Larry Bird and his greatest small forward ever. No disrespect to white folks, but Larry Bird was the greatest white player I ever saw in my damn life. <laughs> I mean, he was. He was the greatest white boy. Listen, Larry, Larry Bird could go anywhere and make brothers look bad. He made them look bad. 
to the point where Isaiah Thomas came out and was like, man, y'all can say that because he's white. But he was bad. He was a badass. Give it to him. Larry Bird. I hated the Celtics back then, but Larry Bird, I respect him. Scared the hell out of me. He, he's a bad man. Bad man. Got to give it to him. In fact, so I don't, I'm not mad at you, Marcus Harper, for having Larry Bird in your starting five, but I'm going with Dr. J over Larry. I think we didn't get to see the best of Dr. J, those of you that were around, because the greatest version of Dr. J played in the ABA, and we never got to see that. But Dr. J was one of the greatest of all time and good enough to make my starting five. Julius Irving. Ask anybody from Philadelphia. See, there they go. This is an argument that you just can't really have. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. And my man Kevin Gray says, Jeff, you tripping without LeBron in your starting five. Sorry, bro. You can only pick five. And you know I love LeBron. And I think LeBron is probably the greatest all-around player we've ever seen. But LeBron plays point guard. And I can't. It's like you can't put the pupil over the master. The greatest point guard of all times is Magic Johnson. Not even up for debate. Right? And the greatest two guard is Magic. I mean, uh, Michael. See? And LeBron only plays guard. I'm not, I mean, he plays forward too, but I can't move him out of the forward. So I'm sorry, LeBron. I mean, I, I can't do it, bro. I, I, I can't do it. I would love to do it, but I can't do it. All right? We are here at the uh, Little Green House Grill in uh, historical Overtown. And um, those of you watching on Facebook, it's in Overtown, 1300 Northwest, 3rd? 3rd Avenue, 3rd Avenue, 1300 Northwest, 3rd Avenue. We're going to have some live entertainment coming up here momentarily. My man Grant is in the house. Come over here, Grant. Come over here, Grant. Yeah, make some noise for Grant, everybody. Make some noise for Grant. Yes. You can see right here. We're going to be a little close to each other, but, but you know, we're, we're cool. You look like an extra for Vampire. <laughs> that's the only that's the only show I didn't audition for. You didn't audition for it. That's the only thing I didn't audition for. Wow. So uh so your, your stage name is what? Right, right, but everybody calls me Leon. Uh-huh. Because everybody everybody thinks I'm Latin, but I'm white and black, but you know. <laughs> you all of that. <laughs> what, what's, what's your style? Well, R&B, and that's what drew me to this restaurant because all my other gigs, I sort of have to water down my sound. Right. Because I think Miami is so focused on being commercial and people forget about black music. And that's why this really, you know, drew me. Because right. I feel like I can express it the way I'm used to, you know what I mean? And not have to water it down to make it sound, you know, pleasant for other people. Yeah, do you, so you do a variety of styles or just strictly R&B? Well, I do, I do everything because I work with different bands. So I do rock, country, pop, but soul, R&B, Motown, gospel, that's my root. And that's, you know, that's what I'm comfortable with. All right. And you can find him right here at the Little Green House Grill. They've got a stage. Uh, he's got his music all set up. Actually, we're holding up the show. So we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna wrap up pretty soon. <laughs> And uh, I got people listening to you all over the country, people in Atlanta, people in Dallas, uh, the whole network, there they are right there in the chat room. What's up, Stewies? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is the type of stuff I'm talking about that we give people here at the little greenhouse grill. Uh, and I, I try to put you on the spot. You don't have to do this if you want to. But today is Nicole's birthday. Yes, it is. And, and she's got the balloons and we just did the birthday cake. And since you are a singer, uh, and, and America's watching, if if you could do a happy sure. birthday, sure. <laughs> My man Grant, live right here on the Jeff Fox Show, is going to sing "Happy Birthday" to Nicole and "Happy Anniversary" to the Little Greenhouse Grill. Y'all ready? Everybody ready? All right. A one, a two, 
A one, two, three, and happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Nico. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Uh -oh. This is the mother of the famous filmmaker from Overtown, Elijah Wells' mom, Miss <laughs> oh. Martha Wells. Wow! See, that's she why I love this place. For Betty Wright. Yes, oh wow! So, Mark, you gotta go over there and say hi. Uh oh! Okay. <laughs> Your turn. Uh oh! Wow! We got mad celebrities in the building, man. Right yeah, talk, yeah, talk to her about her son. Elijah. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello, How are you mother. Doing? I heard so much about you. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Good, good. Thanks Welcome to the show. Yeah, of course, absolutely, of course. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. I met you before. Yeah. I met you at the premiere for uh, the guy from Channel Seven did the movie. Oh, yeah. Okay. It was at the <laughs> theater, the Lyric Theater. Yes, at the Lyric Theater. Yes. Yes, and that's when I first heard about your son, Elijah. Elijah. Yes. Uh, tell me more. Uh, for the, audience, the listening audience, tell me, give them your full name first. Tell me uh, about it. Absolutely. Okay, my name is Martha Lizzie Wells. I am the mother, proud mother, actually, of Elijah Wells. How old is Elijah now? Elijah, just, he's 21. He's 21. Yeah. And he's been doing movies, y'all, since... Seven. <laughs> wait, si wait, wait. <laughs> since when? Seven. Since he was seven years old. <laughs> Thanks. A child genius. <laughs> Thanks to um, a program that came here. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, actually, uh, just thank, I want to just thank um, ABFF, um, Film Life, Jeff Friday, um, Ghana, Yvette Harris, the whole team. They did a program here in Overtown for the kids in Overtown called Center Lab. Right. And Elijah was too young to be a part of that program. But because of the work he had already done and the drive that he had, um, Mr. Reggie Scott decided to interview him and they allowed him to be in the program. And from there, the rest is history. Wow. I, I, I met, I, was he at the uh, premiere at the Lyric Theater? I think it was Antoine Smith's movie. Absolutely, he was there. All right. If, if, I, was, if, I, if I got Antoine's name right. <laughs> Antoine Smith. Yeah. yeah, because it was it was a movie he did and when Tommy from Martin was there. Right. Antoine and, is one of Elijah's mentors, so yeah. 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 And he, he's been great, but at 21 now and he's doing mm -hmm. movies, What's he doing right now? What's I'll tell you what's what's really um, dear to his heart right now. He want to make sure that he gives back to the youth um, that's inspiring to be filmmakers and actors. So he created, um, what he founded actually, mm -hmm. a film festival. It, it was first He called found it, wait, he's 21, <laughs> folks. This is black, you know, black excellence. Yeah. That's what this is. He's 21. Yeah. And he started his own film festival at 21? Actually, he started when he was 18. Wow. It was called Elijah Ross Films, but then we um, changed the name. It's now called iGen Film Festival, which means for the next generation. Okay. So it's every it's in, it's in October every year here at the Little Theater in Overtown. Wow. Um, we were blessed last year to have um, Sophie Alaco from Black Panther there and also... Um, Little Romeo was there. Uh, Romeo, yeah. you we know, don't Romeo Smith. Yeah. Miller. No. Um, yeah. So, you know, we're moving forward. We are looking for people to support what he's doing. Um, because he is working on a film now called Reflection of the Sun. Uh, wow. So that's a project he's working on now. Wow. This 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 young man is a genius folks. Uh, those of you with social media access, they can find him on social media. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Elijah Wells. On IG Just, and on also Instagram, on Facebook. Twitter. Yeah, everything okay. Elijah Wells, yes. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank, thank you. you. Happy Valentine's Day. Same, and thank you for coming to Overtown. Oh, we, we love your voice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes, so folks, lots of celebrities come here to the little greenhouse grill. This is what's left of a uh, little just macaroni and cheese. And he destroyed his shrimp. What is that? Is that mashed potatoes? Oh, he's got some mashed potatoes over there. And uh, they got some great steaks over here. Chef Kareem Bryant just told me that he's got some ribeye and T-bones. You're going to want to get over here and enjoy some of that great food. So uh, check out this young man, Elijah Wells. He is from here. He's from here in uh, historical uh, Overtown. I'm still bubbling, and I'm still, like, in awe of the voice of my man Grant, who just sang 
live here on the show. Can we give him another round of applause? Thank you, studio audience. Brad, you were great, man. You know who you remind me of when you sing like that? This artist named Major. He's got a song. This is why I love you. This is because you love me. Okay, I can't really sing like you. Yeah, that's a great song. I saw him sing in person. Yeah, my daughter's a rapper. And and she was at the radio station at Beats 96 in West Palm Beach. He was there. And he can blow you. you you're going to go places, man. Keep doing what you're doing, man. You guys in Miami, come down here to the Little Greenhouse Grill. You can watch him <laughs> perform live. We're going to get out of his way. I'm sorry, uh, you guys. All right. We, we, we're going to let him. He's giving us a few extra minutes uh, to do this. Where is that menu with the... Uh, with that, I just I want to tell what else they can do here uh, at the Little Greenhouse Grill. Let me jump back in the chat room. Good afternoon, Mr. Harper, who says, good show. My man Marcus Harper. Jeff, you stupid. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, also, um, Kevin Gray. Kevin, I didn't bring the Bluetooth, so I can't call you and put you on live. But, and, and I get it, man. How are you going to have an all-time top five with no LeBron in it? That That is... That's a travesty. That, that, I'm calling up my own self out. You can't do that. But I had to. I'll put LeBron on my team, but my all-time starting five, I can't do it. Can't do it. You can only have two guards. It doesn't say two guards, two forwards. I mean, you know, two at each position. You can only have one. So if you could only pick one point guard, how could you not pick Magic Johnson? If you could only have one two guard, how could you not pick Michael Jordan? Who are you going to pick over? Who are you going to pick over Michael at the two? Who are you going to pick over Magic at the one? You can't pick nobody. So I got to go with Magic and Michael in the backcourt. And my forwards was Dr. J and Tim Duncan. That's a bit more debatable. Because Charles Barkley didn't make it, Carl Malone didn't make up, make it, and I think Carl Malone might be one of the most unstoppable forces I've ever seen at the power forward. But Tim Duncan was a winner. Tim Duncan was a winner. Sorry, Carl Malone fans. I don't think a whole lot of people love Carl Malone anyway. He was good though. He was good. And there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people that are going to kill me for not having Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon. You, those of you in Houston, I know, I know, I know. My bad, my bad, dog, my bad. Honorable mention, though. Uh, you know, if I had to name an entire, how many players on the basketball team? Is it 13? I would put, I would put Larry Bird on my team. I would put... LeBron on my team. I would put Hakeem the Dream Olajuwon on my team. Um, Kevin Durant, as much as I don't love his punk ass, I would put him. I would put him on my team too. I don't love him though. You know why? But he is seven foot one. He's got handles. He can shoot the lights out. But I have to put him on my team. Yeah. So. But not my starting five. Starting five, once again, Shaq at center. And maybe you would have Hakeem as his backup, along with the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm not putting Bill Russell, and I'm not putting uh, Will Chamberlain, because they played around with everybody else who was five feet tall. You know. So, it is what it is. Shaq is, Shaq is your starting center. Uh, Magic at the one. Michael at the two. Dr. J is your forward, uh, small forward, power forward, Tim Duck. All right? Um, listen, man, I'm getting ready to wrap it up here on the show. Oh, 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 I didn't give y'all the breaking news. Tell your baby, thank you for my salt and vinegar chips. Ah, no, Jeff Fox, you gave Nicole some salt and vinegar chips for her birthday. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Happy birthday, Nicole. Once again, happy anniversary, Little Greenhouse Grill. Thank you for advertising. Thank you for supporting uh, the Jeff Fox Show. 
Uh, we're going to stick around and enjoy some of the entertainment. We're going to help Nicole celebrate her birthday. And then tonight we're going down to Florida Memorial University for a homecoming. There's a homecoming concert tonight. Some rapper named Gunner. Oh, I know Gunner. You know Gunner? Gunner's performing tonight at Florida, Florida Memorial. You know who that is? You know who that is? I'm just asking you. You heard some rapper called Diddy? You ever heard of <laughs> Some rapper some named rapper. Diddy? You said some rapper called you know, Diddy. Rapper you know, called Diddy? I'm, I'm turning his mic off. That's the disrespect. Turn his mic off. Come on, now. You gotta respect the music. See? You know what's gonna happen. I'm look, not bringing look, I you on it. You said, yeah, I can't with these young people either. Some rapper called X. Then you said some rapper called Gun. Like you gotta give at least some respect to, to like the modern music now. I know and y'all may not like it. It's you know, you liberal. you young people are disrespectful. I'm You're disrespectful. But why do they wear their clothes so tight and tiny? Right. What is up with that? That is not. Attractive. <laughs> oh, 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 Jeff Fox Jr. getting put on the spot here. I'm just wondering. Their clothes are so tight and tiny. It's, it's, it's hard. You wonder why they got so much. Why like, skinny jeans? Why y'all wear skinny jeans? Because it's a fit now. You gotta let the package it's breathe. The new, you know, <laughs> it's the new way. <laughs> yeah, you can't it's suffocate the, the package. It's gotta breathe, otherwise yeah. it's gonna die. And that's just some rappers. Not all rappers wear skinny all right. jeans. It's just a new way, you know. Grego says Gunner is nice. Grego says that Grego from Atlanta. I think Grego lives in Atlanta. Gunner is nice. Greg, well, Grego, aren't you a New England Patriots fan? Aren't you? Patriots fan? Yeah. 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 Congratulations to y'all. I don't like the Patriots. Don't love y'all. But I'll give you y'all props. Congrats on winning the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay, so. After we leave here, we're going to Florida Memorial University to watch this some rapper named Gunna. Some rapper named Diddy. I mean, what a rap name. You know, we try to stop violence around this country. He calls himself Gunna. Okay, Gunna's performing tonight. It's catchy, though. You know the name. Gunna? You know the name. Bruh. Tupac. Bruh. Tupac is dope. You, know, you shouldn't insult old school rappers. Don't you really shouldn't have sold old school rappers. I don't respect the old. I listen to old school rap, to be honest. So you never know. But come on, you got to give some respect to them. Like, All right. Shout out to the new school rappers, okay? Um, <laughs> who do I like? I like Plies. Is Plies considered new? No, Plies has kind of been out there. <laughs> I like Plies. Yeah. Uh, uh, who, who, I like Migos. You know, walk it, like it, talk it. Walk it, like it, talk it. That's the, y'all. Uh, I'm sorry, but Migos, all y'all sound song. like, all y'all do rappers. What about J. Cole? What about Kendrick Lamar? What about them? What? Come on now. Okay. J. Cole is nice. It's some risk. J. Cole nice. is nice. Kendrick nice. Lamar is nice. Nice. Nice is a good word. Nice. Biggie Pull up your is hip-hop. nice. Nas is nice. Yes, he is nice. is nice. See, what you don't know, young buck, is in the, in the hip-hop world, when you get out your hip hop dictionary, the word "nice" that is about as that is about as great as you can go with an adjective. You gotta go great. Tell him. You gotta get great. When they say like LeBron James, right? That boy great. LeBron is nice. He's great. Not nice. Nice, nice is great. Great. Nice things. is when they say you're nicey. Great things require great sayings. No. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, they don't. Okay, he came at me. Little Jeff came at me with Kendrick Lamar and and J. Yeah, Cole. See, that's the mainstream rapper. They know about the like. He's not even got backup here in the, in the restaurant. They actually, Where are you, Mocha Bella? When I need backup. Real things, right? Where are you, Mocha Bella? When I need people to back me up in this argument here. Well, you know, it's been a lot of debates here on the show. So I'll give it. I'll give you this, little fella. J. Cole is what I call nice. He's nice with it. That's how you that's what the word nice means. Yeah. That means his flow is elite. Great things require great saying. Kendrick yeah. Lamar, great. He's nice. He's he's up nice. there. Um he's a, who else y'all got? Migos, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole. Migos is not on their level. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah, but Migos is making all the money. Yeah, because they just okay. say the same things over and over. <laughs> All right. I do like Cardi B. 
All right? New Wing. I love Cardi B, as a matter of fact. Same I'll way. give it up to her. She's a new rapper. Just won the Grammy. Salute Same to her. I think Nicki Minaj is... Oh, they, you go, you go, see you going to the to, mainstream. No, they are mainstream rappers. Those are the top rappers. If you turn on a R&B and hip-hop station right now, who are you going to hear? Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Chris Brown. See, but stay in your lane, y'all. Because, listen to Chris because Chris. we had Eric B and Rakim. We had Puff Daddy. We had Biggie. We had Tupac. And okay. then when R&B came... We had Michael Jackson and Luther Vandross. What y'all got? What Chris about, Brown what about and Bruno? Usher? What about They're not Bruno? even in the same category. What about Bruno? I'm losing my boys arguing with this young man. Come on now. <laughs> Good afternoon to BS3, my it's man evolution. Ben. What's up, Ben? Good work on the uh good work on the website. Shout out to everybody in the X Squad for tuning in to the show. We're actually live on 2 Live right now. Uh Download the Spreaker app, search for X Squad Radio and Two Live Suits Radio. Right there on Spreaker, you can find the links to some great urban programming here on the show. So I'm not going to argue hip hop anymore. I was about, my daughter's performing tonight at Florida Memorial University. Yell, you're the artist. She's performing, opening up for Gunner. And when I told her about the show, she was like, Gunner? Like, oh my God. I'm like, well, who is Gunner? What song does he sing? You know one of his songs? Drip Too Hard? Is that him? Drip Too Hard? Drip Drip is a good word in hip hop nowadays. Evolution. Actually, what? Evolution of music. You gotta respect it. I, I, you may not what? like it, but it's evolution. You what does drip it. mean? Can you explain to me, uh, young Jeff, what, what drip means? Drip, drip is too like hard. a new word for like swagger. Like you got swag. Like you got too much swag. You got too much swag. When you drip too hard, you got too much swag. Basically. He says when you drip too hard, you got too much swag. Is that what that means, sir? It's sauce. Sauce is like drip. That means you... You, you got A1. That is so... I'm sorry, man. But that, Evolution. Evolution. Okay. Ev- evolution is a... Respect it. Evolution? You may not like it, but you gotta respect it. It's the evolution of music. Okay, guy. okay, okay. So I'm, apparently this gutter person sings the song with Lil Baby. These are the names they have, man. Lil Baby, Gutter. Who's the other one? Lil Baby and Gutter. Don't look at me like that, man. <laughs> you get mad because I'm calling out his rap. Oh, uh, who sings is going down in the DM? Let's end the movie. Who's the one that sings going down in the deal? What type of name is not? What is not? Right. I'm not going to have this conversation. I'm not going to have this conversation with you, kid. Uh, Grego says Lil Baby is good also. Grego, who do you not like? I got to go work. You got to pay that tab. Okay. So we got little, we're getting we're getting ready to wrap up. Oh, we took care of okay. Anyway, go down to Florida Memorial University tonight. It's homecoming 2019. They got Gunner performing live tonight, whoever he is. And and my daughter, Yell you the artist, is performing. But you gotta get there quick, because she only gets like five minutes to perform. Alright, so they, they did the comedy show last night. It's a hip hop concert tonight. Tomorrow they're gonna have Lisa Ray. And they're going to have the baddest bitch. Can't say that loud. Trina. And I love me some Trina. I don't care if Trina can't rap. And Trina could rap, actually. A little bit. I love me some Trina. So you can check them out tomorrow night for the big concert, all right? Uh, good afternoon. And thank you for everybody on the uh, Facebook Live for watching. We'll see you guys later.